Hi guys, it's Bailey, and today we have the best Booty Bridge series to blast cellulite. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started lying down on our backs. For this one, you wanna start by pressing your heels into the mat and gluing your legs together. I want you guys to imagine you have a winning lottery ticket between your knees, and if you drop it, you can't keep it. So you're squeezing those knees, really lifting the hips, squeeze your glutes, and then lower down. Lift and squeeze, lower down. Good, so you should start to feel the back of the legs and the center of the glute switching on. And even a little bit of inner thigh. You're really digging those heels into the mat. You should be able to lift your toes if I asked you to. And really think of pressing those knees forward here. Great, now this one will just start to activate the back of our legs, so all those muscles in the back of the legs, our hamstrings, our glutes, and we really wanna tone up all those little muscles in our, in our glutes and the back of the legs to help to reduce the appearance of cellulite and really strengthen those muscles. Pressing the knees forward. Good, we have four. Three. Really think of squeezing those knees together for two. Hold this next one up, little pulses for 10, nine, eight. Good, you should feel those hamstrings starting to burn for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, last one, lower down. And then what we're going to do is our second set, I want you guys to bring your feet a little bit closer to your glutes. We're lifting our hips as high as we can, then lift your right heel off the ground, digging those toes into the mat, and lower and lift again. Now this is going to strengthen our obliques and strengthen those muscles in the core from being a little unbalanced. Our left leg is working really hard to keep us stabilized. And then we're working a little deeper into the glute muscle here because we have a little bit more range of motion now that our heel's lifted. Good, just another five, four. It's okay if your knees separate. You guys can still keep the lottery ticket. For two, last one. Now drop the heel switch, lift the left. And then what you want to check into here is that your hips stay nice and stable. You're not sort of rocking around from side to side because that means our core is working and all those little stabilizing muscles in our hips and glutes are really helping to strengthen and tone that posterior chain of the body, so our backside. Those hamstrings are gonna be on fire. We have five, four, good, three, two. Last one, hold those hips. Now both heels lift and tap. So your hips stay high, you lift the heels and tap them down. Just rolling through those ankles, really squeezing the glutes. Now this one burns, I'm not gonna to lie to you here. Keep those hips lifted, lift and lower. Little lift, little lower, oh my God, it burns so much, you guys. Think of how toned the back of our legs are gonna be. Four more, three, two, hold it up, little pulses down and up with those heels lifted for 10, nine, stay with me, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one hold, 
and lower down. We'll do a stretch before our second set. Those are intense. Draw some nice, big, juicy hip circles here. Just releasing the hamstrings. And then let's go into our next set. All right, so now we have that lottery ticket back between our knees. We're squeezing them nice and tight, arms by the side. We're going to lift, open, close, and lower. Lift, open, close, and lower. So this will get into those pesky little side glute area. You know that area where your hamstring, so the back of your leg meets your butt cheek? We want each of those butt cheeks to look like a little smiley, like a little smiley line. So this one really helps to lift that area, that little under butt area. Good, lower, lift, open, and close. Now very important that you squeeze the knee, catch the lottery ticket, and then lower. That way you get every muscle in the glute. So we open, squeeze those knees, and tap. And tap. Good, hold this one, little pulses in that butterfly. You are gonna feel the most insane burn through those hamstrings and inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, squeeze the knees up and down for 10, nine, eight, breathe, four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one lowering down. For the next set, take your feet nice and wide in a bit of a turned out position. Arms by the side, we're going to lift, really squeeze those glutes, and then tap them back down. It's so crazy, but these body weight exercises actually burn a lot more than I think when you do like traditional squats in a gym or deadlifts and you really feel all those little muscles for days after. So you know it's working. Again, you wanna be able to dig your heels into the mat. So this is going to work your hamstrings all the way around from side to side. So you get the, from basically the inner thigh to the outer thigh. Remember to squeeze those glutes at the top. Think really squeeze them and lower. Beautiful, hold this next one up, little pulses, down and up, down and up, for 10. Dig those heels into the mat. Good, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, our last thing we're gonna do, dip one hip, lift it up, then the other. Little dip. So it's almost like you're seesawing your hips. Now this gives us a little bonus ab work. But you really want to think of lowering the hip and then squeezing your butt cheek to lift it up. And yes, of course, the hamstring still getting all that work. So this hamstring really has to help lift the leg back up or the glute back up. Good, four more. Three, two, last one, last pulses for 10, for nine, squeeze those glutes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and roll the spine back down, pull those knees in, little bit of a stretch here. Massage the hips in the socket. 
and you guys are done. <laughs> Great job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick booty blast. If you did, please subscribe because I post new workouts every single week. I'll see you guys soon. One more. I sounded way too enthusiastic about cellulite.